You followed him. You followed him to the warehouse. Yes. Why did he go there? He was looking for guns. And that was when you realized he was about to betray your family, and so you told them. I told no one. You didn't even tell your uncle Anton or your other relatives? No. I knew Charlie was a spy, but I never said so to my family. I would die first. We were in love. I'm sorry, what? I can show you other love letters. Ha! You mock duty. But not only was he a secret agent, look at that. He was a stud. It's Romeo and Juliet. With a nerdy Romeo. Yeah, they're smoking hot Russian Juliet. We fell in love the moment we met. Two years, I only saw Charlie when he came to Anton's parties in Russia. He knew I wanted to get away. Away from that life. So when Anton paid for the movie, Charlie said it was a, a perfect chance for me to come here. For us to be together. Okay, if all of that's true, then why did you trail him to the warehouse? To beg him not to look for those guns. I was afraid my family would find out. And did they? No. If they knew, I would be dead too. I told him to stop, but Charlie wouldn't listen to me. He said he had to finish this one last mission before we disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? We were going to run away and start over. We were supposed to leave today. Get away from my family. Get a fresh start. Charlie wanted to leave everything behind. The spying, the acting, the stupid character of Dewey. What about his apartment? He just spent a lot of money renovating it. He was leaving that too. I mean, he could have gone to the roof for one last look at the place, say goodbye. He didn't have to. He knew it was in good hands. He was giving it to a friend. That's why he was there that night. Who's the friend? <laughs>